Hi guys, welcome to this session on Google Sheets. What I want to look at in this module is how you can use the tick box to create a spreadsheet that will automatically color up and apply conditional formatting when you tick the box. So on the screen, I've got two examples of what I'm trying to achieve. So if I tick these three options for these three phases, that's going to say complete. If I don't tick all three, it won't say complete. Now this one, if I tick the box, it puts a line through task to task complete, puts strike through through it. So these check boxes or tick boxes, whatever you want to call them, are available through the insert tab. But what I want to do is recreate this on a separate sheet. So it's conditional formatting I'm using and the tick box. So let's go on to a new sheet, myself a sheet. Now I'm just going to get in the middle here and just do the three phases. So phase one, and then just pull that across. It's phase three, and then status at the end. Mark the other one. And I'll just do a few people. So we'll do Bill, Ben, Bob, Anne, and Steve. Now, I want to insert a tick box. So down the bottom there, tick box. I can then pull that down for each of those and then pull it across like so. Now, when you use these tick boxes, you can use them just like this to tick things on or off. But what's happening when you do actually put the tick in there is it's changing this cell reference to true. So without a tick, it says false. With a tick, it says true. And the way to see that is if you just right click and go, if you're going to insert a link, it'll just come up with true because that's what it's saying there. Now, look, it's changed that box with a tick to true. If I just click off that for a second and do it on this one that hasn't got the tick, right click, insert link, you can see it saying false there. So that is what's happening behind the scenes, true and false. So what I want this to say is complete or not complete or pending, should I say. So I'm going to use an if and there. So it's equals if, open the bracket, and open the bracket. So when you use an and, all three things have to be true for it to do the true part of an if. So I'm going to say if D2 is equal to true, and because it's a logical thing, I don't need to put it into quotes, comma, and E2 is equal to true, comma, and F2 is equal to true. If all three of those are correct, close the bracket for the and, comma for the if, value if true. So that's going to be complete, and you have to put that in quotes like that complete comma and then i'll just put pending as the other one pending in quotes close brackets press enter get an error message do a typo oops two close brackets press enter on that and we get pending if i pull that down they all should be pending because none of them are complete remember they all have to be complete like that, and then it flicks over. So now what I want to do is have that colouring up, green for complete, red for pending. So over onto conditional format rules, click on that. So it's got the range selected already. So I want it to say text contains, and then you've got the word there, complete. It's got it already on green, so that's okay. I'll leave it like that, and then you do another one text contains pending and then you want to change the color to whatever color you want really but i'm going for red red okay so if i tick these that changes to complete so that's one use of it tick box because it's using true and false and you've got an if hand there picking that up now the other one i had was just using task like a little to-do list for yourself if you wanted to do it like that if i just do four tasks or five tasks what I've got there is a um, tick box that I'm going to put in there. I can just copy this one down, actually. So let's copy that and paste it there. And then pull that one down, take the tick off for now. Pull that down. So this one, I want to highlight this. So what I want to happen is when I tick that, I want that to go red and strike, have strike through on it. So again, I need to go to add rule. So it's got the list highlighted. 
Now I need to use a formula option here down the bottom. You've got custom formula, and then I need to put equals in there, and it is D8. So if D8 equals true, I want that to be not green. So take that off, no fill, and then I want it straight through, and I want it red, like so. Have a click done for that. Tick one, you can see it applies it for the whole lot, and that's how you can do that. So that's just two different ways of using the the tick box. This one to give you a status, this one to do a little mini task list, or you can just use it for yes, no for people and things like that. There's lots of different uses of it. But that's all I want to talk about in this little video. Hopefully that's of use. Thank you for your time. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll touch on the next one.